This week we have managed to get our hands on the brand new EKSA GT1 Cobra Gaming TWS earphones. Now these particular earphones, they are indeed specified as having ultra low latency, which we hope would be good for those gamers, and they do have a specified 30 hours battery life. Obviously that is while well using that charge case supplied. But nope, on this channel we don't simply rely on the printed text on the side of the box. No, 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 no. So we will indeed be testing this out, as well as many other aspects, over the next few days. But for now, inside the box, placed within that protective packaging, is ooh, a very unique looking charge case that definitely looks like, yes, a cobra's head. Let's move it aside just for now though. And accessory wise, we are provided with two spare sets of ear tips. One size being small and one size being large. There is also a Type-C charge cable included, as well as a very precise user manual too. Looking back to the charge case, it is charged via that Type-C charge port to the rear. There are charge case indication levels to the front that do illuminate, again making this case look very unique and gamer friendly, I must say. Hmm. We do have the EKSA logo that is embedded to the top of that magnetic sturdy lid, but my first impressions, well, I've got to say I really do like the case. It does host inside a 500mAh battery, capable of up to 30 hours charging on the go, but I've got to be quite honest, it is certainly going to be a bulky case, especially when it's in my pocket. Opening up the lid, the earbuds themselves are magnetically pulled within those deep embedded sockets. The lid is also molded too, which is great for keeping those earphones in place and stopping them from rattling around. Looking closely at the EKSA earphones, they do have a gaming look to them. Once they have been turned on, those snake eyes will illuminate, and once they've been synced to your device, yeah, they will basically continue to flash every 10 seconds, which can't be turned off, I'm afraid. But once they have been placed into that charge case, those lights will begin to softly light up and continue until they're fully charged. I personally right now do actually like the look of the earphones. They definitely feel very durable in hand, with an ergonomic semi-in-ear design. Each one of the earphones do have microphones built in. Touch controls are present also. We do have medium sized ear tips already fitted. There are internally 10mm high quality drivers, as well as a Bluetooth 5.0 chip. And yes, these earphones are indeed IPX4 waterproof. Alrighty then, so pairing is quite simple. Taking the earphones direct from the case, it should take them into sync mode. Simply grab your device and locate GT1 from your Bluetooth device list. Go ahead and select, then accept that connection, and as well as being connected to your device, you will also have a battery indication on screen too. Well, depending on which phone you have, that is. Okay, dude, so we have actually been using these earphones for around about two days now. Because the earbuds are super light, they do sit well within our ears. They are rather comfortable, sitting very secure, and you shouldn't have any problems working out with these earphones in, or simply going for a run. When it comes to the GT1's touch controls, because these earphones are indeed meant for gamers, you are quite limited I'm afraid. So for example, you have one tap for play, pause, call answering functions, two taps on either earbud to switch between music and gaming mode, and three taps on either earbud once again to wake up your desired voice assistant. Now, after the first few hours testing these earphones out, I've got to be quite honest. The audio is surprisingly good. These earphones do offer an above average sound, with the bass that sounds pretty beefy and quite full most of the time. But I may note that that audio can be a bit subdued with only a limited certain genres of music. Mids, I've got to say, are quite clear, with superb volume too. Oh Highs do actually sit quite days. nice, nice and sharp, wow. which we did find ourselves now and again turning the volume down to say 80 to 90%. Definitely the correct level for any prolonged period of time. To switch to the gaming mode with these earbuds, we're going to double tap one of the earphones. But again, we've got to be quite honest, and after we did sync these earphones to our TV, and even our mobile phone, well, while gaming, although there is quite a difference with that latency, which is reported to be 38 milliseconds. I just don't know about that really. Yes, there's a difference, but it isn't that huge, and weirdly, that is the same when switching back to music mode too. Latency actually sounds the same in music mode. Although when these earphones are indeed in gaming mode, you can actually pick up small little intricate details. 
So yes, that's one of the plus points with the gaming mode, as audio is a slight bit more precise with certain sounds. Music playback time. Out of the six hours that were stated, we did in fact get four hours, 35 minutes use. That is while consistently using 100% volume. Bluetooth distance, you can easily get past 9 meters, that is within a closed indoor area before that Bluetooth transmission cuts off. And well, for the price of £35, that's around 49 in US dollars, you do get what you actually pay for. So you basically get a nice unique looking set of wireless earphones that do sound above average for that price range, providing a natural audio feeling which is especially good when listening to live music like concerts, etc. They are good for picking up ambient noises while gaming, but you know what, overall, I can hardly actually criticise these earphones today. So for comfort, we are going to give them 10 out of 10. They were extremely comfortable after long use. Functionality, we're going to give only a 7 out of 10. Even though these are gaming earbuds, I do just wish that they had more touch control features. For example, previous and extract selections are indeed volume control. For design, we're going to give it an 8 out of 10. We do personally love the earphones. Okay, the charge case is on the bulky side, but we can understand that EKSA are more or less a gaming brand. And that is certainly what they've gone for when looking at the design of the charge case. Lastly, audio quality, we're going to give a 9 out of 10. With our overall rating for these EKSA GT1 Gaming TWS earphones being a big fat 8 out of 10. Now guys, I will leave a link for these earphones in the video description down below. You can go and check that link out should you wish. But if you have liked what you've seen in this video today, well why not check that link out and go get yours. While you're in that video description, don't forget to smash a like on this video. Most importantly, please support us by subscribing to this channel. I'd very much appreciate it. Oh yeah, make sure you hit that bell notification option so you guys could stay updated on all our new uploads. Now again, another fantastic gadget this week and we're going to be uploading a brand new tech review in the next couple of days, so stay tuned for that. But as usual guys, I hope you all stay safe and thank you ever so much for watching. Peace! Ah, that tickled me throat doing that.